Northern lights dazzle over UK, Europe, and across the hemisphere. Aurora Borealis sightings further south than usual, from Ireland and Britain to Czech Republic and Germany, as solar storm hits Earth's atmosphere. How can I see the Northern Lights in the UK tonight? Guardian staff and agencies. Saturday, May 11, 2024, 3.16 CST. Share. The Aurora Borealis has lit up the night sky with rare sightings across the UK, Europe, and the Northern Hemisphere. The Northern Lights were spotted in Whitley Bay on the northeast coast, Essex, Cambridgeshire, and Wokingham in Berkshire. They were also sighted in Suffolk, Kent, Hampshire, and Liverpool. Kathleen Cunia, in Great Horksley, Essex, said, It was absolutely stunning to see. Sightings were reported in Ireland, where the Weather Service met Aaron posted images of the lights over Dublin and above Shannon Airport in County Clare. Met Office spokesman Stephen Dixon said on Friday, although the shorter nights will limit the visibility window, there's a good chance to see the aurora, particularly on Friday night and especially in Scotland, Ireland and parts of northern England and Wales. There could even be visibility further south if you have the right equipment. Those conditions could continue on Saturday night, but we still have to work out some details on where exactly that will be. Dixon said the combination of clear skies and enhanced activity from the sun reaching Earth would improve the chances of seeing the display. I feel like I am having a religious experience, or an alien abduction. Not sure which, science teacher David Boyce tweeted from England. Another user shared a photo and said Edinburgh in Scotland felt like a different planet tonight. Aurora displays occur when charged particles collide with gases in the Earth's atmosphere around the magnetic poles. In the Northern Hemisphere, most of this activity takes place within a band known as the Aurora Oval, covering latitudes between 60 and 75 degrees. When activity is strong, this expands to cover a greater area, which is why displays can be occasionally seen further south. In the U.S., the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, issued a rare severe geomagnetic storm warning on Friday. It alerted operators of power plants and spacecraft in orbit to take precautions. NOAA said the storm could produce northern lights as far south as Alabama and northern California. For most people here on planet Earth, they won't have to do anything, said Rob Steinberg, a scientist with NOAA's Space Weather Center. That's really the gift from space weather, the aurora. The very rare event is being caused by a large sunspot cluster that has produced several moderate to strong solar flares since Wednesday morning, Noah said. That meant the lights could be seen further south than usual. Steinberg and his colleagues said the best aurora views might come from phone cameras, which were better at capturing light than the naked eye. Even when the storm is over, signals between GPS satellites and ground receivers could be scrambled or lost, according to Noah. But there are so many navigation satellites that any outages should not last long, Steinberg said. It is all part of the solar activity that's ramping up as the sun approaches the peak of its 11-year cycle. The storm is anticipated to peak as at least seven coronal mass ejections converge and race towards Earth late on Friday or early on Saturday, according to an update from NOAA. But geomagnetic storming was highly likely to persist through the weekend, the agency said. Pictures of everybody, why, s hashtag Aurora experience is the best, most wholesome thing I've seen on Twitter in a long time, one user wrote, calling the experience magic. Everybody just coming together to appreciate nature. NASA said the storm posed no serious threat to the seven astronauts aboard the International Space Station. The biggest concern was increased radiation levels, and the crew could move to a better shielded part of the station if necessary, according to Steinberg. Increased radiation also could threaten some of NASA's science satellites. Extremely sensitive instruments would be turned off if necessary to avoid damage, said Antti Polkanen, director of the space agency's Heliophysics Science Division. Several sun-focused spacecraft were monitoring all the action.